Hi, and welcome to my channel, 16 Bits or Higher. My name is Frank, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on an issue that some people are having with the R36S clone after doing the Arc OS update. Uh, what's going on is that there's no audio coming out of the speakers. Uh, nothing sounds when you try to play a game, you don't hear anything, and you can go up and down on the volume, on the volume control and nothing comes out. You can try to go into the settings and there's even a file on their ports that is called fix audio that doesn't work. So there's really nothing that you can do on the settings that will allow you to get your audio back. But I believe that I found a solution going into the folders that were pre-installed in the image uh, when you uh, flash your card. So this video is going to show you how to fix that problem. It's going to show you what you need to do in order to get your audio uh, to come back on your device. It's going to be a short video, like I said. I hope you guys like it. I hope you find it informative. And if you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment uh, down below. And uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can with uh, any help that I can give you, okay? So please like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Before we begin, you'll need to open the boot partition of your micro SD card in two separate windows. We're doing this because we'll be copying files back and forth between folders. In step one, we're going to make backups. In the window on the left, open the boot folder, find the .dtv file there and rename it. Just add the word backup at the end of the file name, right before the extension. Now still on the left window, go into the ext Linux folder. Inside, you'll see a .com file. Rename this one the same way. Add backup at the end of the file name before the extension. In step two, we're gonna grab new files from the screen files folder. Still on the left window, go back to the boot folder. Now switch over to the window on the right. Open the folder called screen files. Inside, you'll see seven different panel folders. Start by opening panel one. Inside panel one, you'll find a DTV file with the same name as the one that you just renamed and an ext Linux folder that also contains a .com file with the same name as the one that you renamed earlier. In step three, we're gonna copy the new .com file. Jump back to the left window and open up the ext Linux folder again you'll see the rename backup file sitting there. Now go back to the right window, right click on the .com file, drag it into the left window and drop it in the ext Linux folder. You should now have two files in there, the one you renamed and the new one you just copied. In step four, we're gonna copy the new .dtv file. Go back to the boot folder in the left window. Now on the right window, go back one folder so you can see both the .dtv file and the ext Linux folder. Right click the .dtv file, drag it into the left window and copy it into the boot folder. In step five, we're gonna test it out. Eject the card from your computer and put it back into your device. Power it on. If you see the ArcOS boot image followed by the games list, bingo, that means that you found the correct DTV file for your device. But if the screen stays black and nothing loads, then those files weren't the correct ones. In step six, try the next panel folder if needed. If it didn't work, power the device off, remove the card, and put it back into your computer. Repeat the same process, but this time use the files from the panel two folder. If that still doesn't work, try panel three, then four, and so on until you find the correct one. When I did this, I actually started from panel seven and worked my way backwards. For me, it ended up being panel four that worked. I know it can be a bit of a hassle, but once you hit the right one, your screen should display correctly and your audio issues should be fixed. Step seven, restore if nothing works. If none of the panel folders work, don't worry. Just go back and delete the last files you copied. Then take the original files you renamed with backup, remove the word backup from their names, 
and that will restore your device back to the way it was before you started testing. And that's it, step by step until you get the correct panel set up for your device.